The fight against the North American Union is escalating, not at the federal level, but at the state level. Currently, 14 states are considering legislation opposing what the administration calls the Security and Prosperity Partnership. In Idaho, the measure has been approved by both houses of its legislature because Idaho is tired of the secrecy. In a simple statement from one of the Senate sponsors, he explains, quote, Idaho wants Congress to weigh in on this and get it out in the open and vote on it. At the federal level, it's hard to escape the push for unifying Canada, Mexico, and the United States. The language is everywhere, even though the people have never voted on it. In last year's failed so-called comprehensive immigration reform bill, the Senate inserted language praising the North American Union for progress made, quote, in developing and implementing an immigration security strategy for North America that works towards the development of a common security perimeter. In other words, gone are the borders of the United States of America. Welcome to the borders of North America. It's a far cry from what's happening at the state level. The state activity is an indication of the grassroots concern about this issue. The states are closer to the grassroots, and that's where you're going to first see uh, the indication of some discomfort with the Security Prosperity Partnership or the idea of a North American Union. Washington isn't listening, just as Washington has ignored the people on the issue of immigration. Bill Tucker, CNN, New York. I don't have to tell you things are bad. Everybody knows things are bad. It's a depression. Everybody's out of work or scared of losing their job. The dollar buys a nickel's worth. Banks are going bust. Shopkeepers keep a gun under the counter. Punks are running wild in the street and there's nobody anywhere who seems to know what to do and there's no end to it. We know the air is unfit to breathe and our food is unfit to eat. We sit watching our TVs while some local newscaster tells us that today we had 15 homicides and 63 violent crimes, as if that's the way it's supposed to be. We know things are bad, worse than bad. They're crazy. It's like everything everywhere is going crazy, so we don't go out anymore. We sit in the house, and slowly the world we're living in is getting smaller, and all we say is, please, at least leave us alone in our living rooms. Let me have my toaster and my TV and my steel-belted radios, and I won't say anything. Just leave us alone. Well, I'm not going to leave you alone. I want you to get mad. I don't want you to protest. I don't want you to riot. I don't want you to write to your congressman because I wouldn't know what to tell you to write. I don't know what to do about the depression and the inflation and the Russians and the crime in the street. All I know is that first, you've got to get mad. You've got to say, I'm a human being. God damn it. My life has value. So, I want you to get up now. I want all of you to get up out of your chairs. I want you to get up right now and go to the window, open it, and stick your head out and yell, I'm as mad as hell and I'm not going to take this anymore!